Hey there. So a few weeks ago, I had ordered a uh, photograph to be printed, and I found these guys, Imaging Arts, I think they're in South Carolina. Um, so I worked with them. Uh, very helpful. Thank you, Stephen, uh, for all the help. Um, but I got this last week, and I just haven't had a chance to unpackage it, and I thought I'd do a little unpackaging of what, um, what this photograph looks like when it turned out... You know, it looks great on print, or sorry, it looks good on um, screen. Just wanted to see what it looked like in print, too. And ultimately, I'm, I'm actually looking to see if I can sell something like this, if this is of interest to anyone, um, and certainly if Imaging Arts is a um, company that um, would want to print these things and certainly distribute them to customers. They're pretty awesome, so I just wanted to see what that experience was like myself. Um, I haven't worked with these guys before, so I'm um, sure it's going to be great. Um, the cost uh, for shipping, I think, was around um, 12 or $16. He's in um, South Carolina. Um, I'm up in Montana, so I'm not sure if there's any, um, what the shipping rates were there. Um, time frame was probably about five days from when the order was packaged up um, and when it arrived, so not, not too bad at all. Um, yeah, let's open it up and see what it looks like. So this is actually my first unboxing video, or at least unboxing a done on video before. So probably be helpful if I had a screen right in front of me, but I don't. Um, the overhead camera, which is here, um, actually has a flip out screen, so I've, I'm looking up sometimes to make sure that I've got the, the package in, um, in the frame. So if it moves around a little bit, it'll get better over time, I'm sure. Um, so how to unpackage these things. Um, so let's see, uh, seems like the easiest way would be just right at the top up here. I'll be already opened up. That's the side. Like a little pop up top pop thing here. Just pop that out. Over to the side there. Okay. So I think if uh, if I remember right that this was a 16 by 24 print that Stephen did. Let's see here. Well, thanks for your business. Hope you're pleased with the print, Stephen. Imaging Arts. There. I'm also shooting on a, um, a 25 mil lens um, that's manual focus. Uh, I have the kit lens, which is 15 to 45, shooting on a Canon M50 um, with an overhead uh, Amazon Basics tripod um, with an arm and the 15 to 45 decided to do some funky things this morning. So, um, so here we are. Thanks, Steven. Okay. So I honestly wasn't sure how uh, these, let's see, go from the side, um, how these prints would actually ship. And that's part of the reason why I wanted to go through this myself was just to see what that actually looked like um, and what that experience was like. So. Sorry, Steven, I'm just going to go ahead and rip this open. Partly because I'm impatient and partly because I don't know what else to do. Okay, cool. Let's get that guy done. Okay, so I should say that this image was taken, get rid of this. This photograph was taken, I think, in October of last year in 2019. And um, there's a new restaurant in town, or there was a new restaurant in town, it's not as new anymore, um, called The Camino. And it was started by a couple of guys that were, um, uh, some local guys that worked at some restaurants and other um, bars around town. And uh, so they started this, um, this restaurant. It's uh, Mexican-influenced food and drink. Um, we've been there a couple times at the bar, had some food. Um, drinks are great. Food's great. Um, but one night 
we're sitting there and just we were like one of the first ones there and i they have a, a icon that's the camino it's what they referenced in some of their images so um, i was trying to get that in in a picture as well as just the overall atmosphere with um the open kitchen um you've got kind of like a, a section that's uh, you can eat in front of the kitchen, in front of the open kitchen. Then there's a bar off to the side. Then there's a whole restaurant um, that's behind the bar. We were sitting at the bar here. Um, so let's see what this looks like. The wrapping is really well done. Okay. Off to the side. Yeah, I wasn't sure if this was going to come in a tube or if it was going to come flat, um, but I guess probably just depending on different sizes is how it would be shipped. Okay. okay. This. I didn't have it there. I didn't have it framed, um, assuming that most folks probably wouldn't want their photos framed or wanted to frame themselves. And I had it printed on um, some pretty heavy stock paper. here but it certainly reminds me of that um that photograph i think it's of elvis presley sitting at the end of the bar um and i'm sure there's a bunch of different characters that get um swapped in there but so we were sitting at the bar at the end of the bar which is the best way to do that this way yeah so we were sitting at the end of the bar which is here and extends out that way you enter into the the restaurant this way. I had mentioned that um, Camino. Um, logo or um, icon that they use the graphic that they use. Here's a 3D version of it. Um, this is the seating area that's actually the open kitchen. I think that's Tad, one of the owners and um, chef. Um, and you can see outside it's pretty snowy, so it's probably October-ish time frame. That probably sounds about right. Um, yeah, pretty nice actually. Let's, let's see if I can flip this guy around. It'll probably be upside down, but let's see if I can look at it from another angle too. get it un, um, unrolled um, but maybe this is the easier way to do it so you can see some snow on car windows there um, these are the seats that are available for um, uh, eating dining in front of the open bar which is back here this location is actually inside it's very industrial looking um, but it's actually part of the um, their mercantile building downtown, which is a old historic building that they turned into a um, multi-use building. There's a fairly large hotel, and then um, certainly some restaurants, including the Camino, as well as open space. And um, there's like a exercise place in there, and there's a steakhouse and Thai food place. It's, it's actually really, really nice. A great location too, just down the street. Um, I think this way is um, the Clark Fork River and Kara's Park. Yeah, I actually do like how the uh, picture turned out. I think it looks really nice on this paper. Um, I can't remember, I'll, I'll put in the description what the paper stock is and I'll link to um, 
Imaging Arts and Stevens, Stevens location, as well as um, this is for sale. This is 16 by 24. It's a pretty good size, um, and I'll probably sell it in a couple of different sizes as well. Um, no, no prints, um, but as you can see, it comes uh, very well protected, very nicely wrapped and shipped. Um, no damage at all to the to the uh, to the to the photograph itself, to the print itself. Um, it is in black and white. I, I do normally shoot in black and white, especially indoors. Um, it just feels like it, I don't know, it gives me a little bit more focus on, on what it is that I'm shooting versus have different um, distractions when it comes to color. I sometimes feel that black and white is probably even more of a challenge. I, I don't do, I do very little, if any, um, post-processing. So uh, maybe I'll crop it in a little bit. Um, you know, I left this open uh, on the side uh, you know, certainly for the Camino, but also on the, the far side is um, you know, the extension that, that kicks out as well as a, a pretty good size um, podium that's in there or a beam, vertical beam that uh, is, is kind of neat too. Um, yeah, it looks pretty cool. And even uh, has kind of a motion in there, which is, which is kind of a neat element to it too. So... So anyway, that's it.